Welcome back, everybody, to another Divi Project update for February 2nd, 2023. It's Thursday. It's also the day we're going to have our conversation with Nick Sapinero. I know he said Friday, but that's Friday for his time, GST. If you're in the United States like myself, it's going to take place tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, midnight if you're on the East Coast. But yeah, again, this is the low-key, no-hype. It's going to be filmed in a $299 unprofessional studio with no lighting. <laughs> and that's that's literally how they titled it, too. So <laughs> if you want to watch the live stream, I will leave the link in the description box for you. And again, it's going to take place in around in about like nine hours. So I'll definitely see you guys there. And let's see, what else is going on? I think someone on Discord actually asked me to mention this, but this is from NVIA. Hey, looking forward to it, speaking of that live event tonight. But could you eventually address, let's discuss a few hot topics like uh, website overhaul status, how Nick can work with us and the team to improve overall communications, current marketing strategy, etc. I would love to hear construction discussing, and you certainly are one of the best. Oh, thanks, brother. I am the best. <laughs> but yeah, on the website side, yeah, I don't have any information on that. I do agree. We could use a new one on the DibbyProject.org side. We did just receive a new updated DibbyWallet.com website with all our most recent news and everything on there, so I thought that was awesome. But I do agree. This site does need a does need a new one because it's a little bit outdated. We saw some like I forgot what YouTuber out there was actually uh, was asked to look at Divi and he was brought here and it was it was just a little outdated. So yeah, but yeah, who, who knows? Maybe they are working on the background. I I, I personally do not know, but yeah, it'd be cool to have a new DiviProject.org website. May, I don't know. Do you like the colors? Like, what would you want to change about this? It's not like to keep it updated. I would hope to keep it the same colors. I do like the red and white style because the new one more it more matches the Divi wallet colors, the white and purplish. I do always look at my thumbnails like switching between these colors and this one. And so yeah, but yeah, so that's I again I don't have much news on this one, but yeah, maybe they're working on it. And then on the next side for communication, I think he's doing a pretty good job like <laughs> in communicating with us. Uh, like when he posts something, like it usually gets in here, it gets posted on Twitter. And then again, if I find it, I communicate it with you guys here on YouTube because I know most people use YouTube as a main source of information. So that's why I'm posting on here. That's why I started doing it. When I got into Divi, it was not much stuff to look up. Just you have like the website, the white paper, and just yeah, you know, some comments out there. So that's why I started bringing these daily Divi updates to keep everyone informed and what's going on. So there's the communication there. I don't know how else we can do it a little bit better or more. What are your thoughts? And then current market strategy, et cetera. Well, the market strategy is just focusing on the enterprise size. So like the website and everything, I think that needs to be focused for big businesses right now. They like they can see it, see how well we're doing through the community as well as our partnerships such as La Liga. We were told by like even Jeff McCabe in one of his interviews that a lot of companies are liking us because of this La Liga partnership and La Liga liked us because of what the community does within Divi. So yeah, the marketing strategy is more focused on that. It even says out even the roadmap, like what our focus is on. Loyalty 2.0, like loyalty programs for enterprises, boom. And then you got the, well, the NFT 2.0, I'm not sure how that's going to play in, but it's going to be something crazy. That one's looking, that's pretty cool looking forward to that. But then you got the BSAAS technology, which allows uh, businesses, enterprises to use our tech. They can choose what they want to use for their wallets. And again, we're integrating that at that point, then we'll be integrating the retail side of it. So even in previous like articles from Nick, like people would ask him back then, like, how do you think uh, like the next bull run will take place? And he did say it was like, I believe the enterprises will come in next and then the retail. Because if you look at the last bear market in 2019, 2020, that's when like I got involved. That bull run was mainly from retail people. So the common folks out there. So the next one will be enterprises and then retail people, common folks will be using technology without even realizing it. So that's my thoughts on that and their marketing strategy. But yeah, that's just my little viewpoints on that. And yeah. Uh, yeah, what else is, what do you guys think? Anybody in the Divi community, let me know. How do you think we can improve any of those topics? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And then let's see, what else is going on? I know we got the voice chiming in here. Let's see, where was that? He was talking about, like, I think it was the, it was talking about the KuCoin situation. And people were, like, still wondering, like, uh, like we, did we get taken off of the KuCoin? No, no, KuCoin, is, it has to do with our market maker. David Scott was, like, it's not about KuCoin. 
well, a kid now is responding to KuCoin supposed to be the people's exchange, but it's not about KuCoin. I believe Nick said it had to be with our new market maker having some stipulation about where exchanges are based. And then the voice chimed in on that, uh, giving us a little bit more insight. And it's, it is true. It is the triple good thing. Exchanges and market makers don't want to work with securities unless there is some other type of legal agreement. Divi blockchain has been vetted several times, and the third-party legal options on all fronts is not a security. However, the topic on this subjects are ever-changing, like examples like library slash XRP and exchange and or, meta or market makers. They are interested in protecting themselves, so they require, as did KuCoin, a new legal option for the U.S. markets that Divi isn't a security. This is being done again for the new market maker, it's an, and it's a darn good thing. And we can expect this when we begin working with larger financial entities. So, ooh, so yeah, more people we're working with. So nice. And yeah, Jay Mac is like, that is actually awesome to have that getting started out now. And it is fantastic. So yeah, sure of us, a lot of us are getting patient. Like, wait, we can't like use the buy feature yet. It's coming. Uh, the swaps feature in the app like aren't working too. But like, again, it's being worked on right now. If you do need to make a change, use change now. Like I did a video yesterday. I showed you guys how it worked. Like, uh, let's see, let's go to my channel. Uh, like I, it's, it's even on my Twitter account. I did it, I showed it in yesterday's video. So check that video out where do 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 but, but let's scroll down i like a lot of stuff right here so i have a video right here showing that change now still works perfectly if you need to change swap out your divi there's still your option there so you're not shut out completely and then same with if you want to sell or use kucoin as long as you're not in the states you can use it it's only the united states that was suspended for that so I think someone even commented that like, hey, I'm in like Dubai or I'm somewhere and they're like going, I just use KuCoin to purchase Divi still. So again, but yeah, it's the, just everything going on right now, what they're doing, like they're still checking it. So yeah, it's a pretty cool. And then let's see, anything else going on today? Let's see, Divi Project is like, good morning to all those staking Divi and running master notes to secure our blockchain. No, you're appreciated. Thank you, Keanu Reeves. And yeah, I was looking at those master known numbers. Looks like we're under 2,000. Oh my. <laughs> That's okay, though. I wonder what happened to those, though. I'm curious, too. Maybe Divi Wash can show us the movement take place. Does that even show anything? Because when you're moving from master node to staking vault, you're not moving anything. It's still in your wallet. So, but yeah, I was, I'm curious on that. Are people just moving their, di selling their Divi? Or are they just moving it from master nodes to staking? I don't know. <laughs> But speaking of Divi Watch, the next lottery block is in one day, three hours, 13 minutes. So again, if you are staking your Divi and you got a reward this week, you're entered in that chance to win. Either one person wins 252,000 Divi and 10 lucky winners wins 25,000. So keep staking, y'all. And thank you for supporting and securing the blockchain. And lastly, from the Divi wallet, our ABCs of crypto. The next one is we're in H, and it is on the halvening. The Bitcoin halvening is a big event. How many halvings have you been here for? They happen every four years. Is this going to be my first one, or is this going to be my second one? I actually can't remember, because I think I started in, like, end of 2019. That could have been right after the first happening. I can't remember. But, yeah, the happening is a programmed event that reduces the rates at which new cryptocurrency tokens are created. So, right now, I believe, like, the BTC blockchain, like, per reward per block is, I believe, like, 6.5 Bitcoin per block rewarded. So, when this happening takes place, is that happening this year? No, no, it's happening. The happening takes place in 2024. We have the Litecoin happening taking place right now, but the next happening for Bitcoin will reduce those rewards from 6.5 down to 3.25. So it's a happening. So there's going to be less rewards out there. Hmm. Typical business math right there, the supply versus demand chart. But if you're reducing the supply coming in, demand may, and the demand still just as high, that will have play a key effect on the price. So yeah, but that's the H side of the ABCs. We are... What is H even? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So that's eight. We still got 19 letters more to go in the alphabet because there is 27. So yeah, keep looking forward to it. Thank you, Dibby Well, for posting these ABCs of crypto. Love it. But that's about it for this Divi update. Price of Divi right now is at 0.01186 cents, down 2% since yesterday. Market cap's at $38.6 million. Trading volume is 43,860. Our current market cap rank is number 446 and then here is that day chart so yeah in a few more moments you'll see that that percentage will be down a lot because if you look at a 24-hour period this little gap's going to go away and then we're going to see a difference from here to here so yeah that's our day chart for you and again 
total mass nodes out there right now is 1,989. I wonder how long it'll be until we're back above 2,000. We just got to wait and see. And as always, if you haven't downloaded the official regional crypto wallet of the Liga, a uh, link in the description box is for you for DiddyWallet.com. It's a wallet made for everyone, and this is Crypto Made Easy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if so, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you tonight at the live chat with Nick. So until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.